I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be the counter offer date. Now, this is something that is really super important, and I go into detail about this in my book. And this is a great technique to use to determine whether or not you've actually got a chance with a woman you've got her phone number with or a girl you've got a date set up with already. Because here's the deal, when a woman really wants to see you, but maybe sometimes she's busy, like if you ask her out, you say, hey, how about Thursday night? And she says, well, I can't get together on Thursday because i got a birthday party to go to. The idea is if you're talking to her on the phone or you're talking to her through text is you pause and you wait for her to respond when you ask her about a specific day. And then her response will tell you a lot about what her true level of attraction and interest is in you. If a girl really, 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 really likes to see you, if her interest is like 78% and you ask her out for Thursday but she's got something planned already, she'll say, hey, I can't Thursday, but how about another day? How about next Tuesday? The, the higher her attraction for you is, the more interested in her she is in you, the more she's going to work to try to make a date with you. Whereas if she's got lower interest in you, she'll just say, oh, I'm busy. I, I, I can't do it Thursday. And then she won't say anything after that. And that's why it's important, like if you're talking on the phone, to pause and wait for her to say something. Because if there's like a two or three second silence when she says that and she doesn't offer up another day or anything, then that means that she really is not that interested in seeing you. And then you just simply say, all right, well, maybe some other time. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Have a great weekend, whatever it is. And then call her maybe a week later, maybe two weeks later. Ask her out again for something specific. If she gives you the same kind of response, it means that she has a low level of attraction for you. And the idea is, that, like I talk about in my book, is that you want to spend your time with women who really like you. Because at the end of the day, if you meet a chick and she just fucking does it for you in every way physically but she doesn't really feel the same way. Say your interest is like 75% to start with, hers is like 50, then there's really not a lot you can do to get it up above that 50% level. It just means you're kind of like barely hanging on, so to speak, you really barely have a chance. But if you meet a woman whose interest is mutual, the way she looks at you, the way she looks in your eyes, the way she participates in the conversation, whether or not she's got a boyfriend in the background or she just broke up with somebody recently and she's still hurting from that, all of those factors are going to play into how she interacts with you either through text or a phone call when you're trying to set the date. And the idea is, if you, as you're practicing these skills, is you want you, you got to look at yourself and say, you know what, I'm a fucking catch too. I have a lot to offer a woman. And what a lot of guys make the mistake of is they only pay attention to the fact that they like the girl, but they don't really give much thought or attention to whether or not she actually feels the same way and unfortunately it's just the way it is sometimes you're going to be really into a girl and she's going to have like no interest in you she's not you're just not going to do it for her. and it it sucks when that when it's that way but the idea is especially when you really like a girl is you want to find out right away whether or not you actually have a chance with her so you don't waste your time trying to make dates and then being all excited three or four days before your date is coming up and then she cancels on you at the last minute and just says, oh, I can't. And she gives you just some, oh, I just have to cancel. She doesn't say she's a sorry, she's, oh, my bad, or I can't make it. And she doesn't offer any explanation or any other day to get together. It's just a straight out blow off, basically. And so when a woman treats you that way, when she communicates to you that she doesn't really value that much, I mean, why would you want to continue to pursue her? The idea is that if you interact with enough women and you ask out enough women, you're going to see the patterns. You're going to see the difference between women you really got a shot with and those that you don't. And the idea is that you don't want to get hung up on girls that, because I see this all the time, guys wait weeks and weeks and weeks talking with a girl through text back and forth, but they can never seem to nail her down to a date or a time. Whenever they try to set a date, she's like, oh, I don't know what my schedule's like. Uh, check with me later in the week. And here's the thing, with feminine energy, it tends to be vague and up in the air because women don't like confrontations and they're not going to come right out and say that they're not interested in you or they don't like your big nose or your big feet or they just aren't attracted to you. They're going to be nice about it and the way they approach it is they hope that you'll eventually figure it out after a certain period of time and realize, hey, this girl just really doesn't like me and you'll just go away because that's what most guys do eventually. 
And so the idea is you want to cut through the bullshit right away and you want to be able to tell as quickly as possible with a woman whether she's in, whether you got a shot with her, or whether she's out and you have no chance at all with her so you can move on because the longer you interact with her, the longer you talk with her, the longer you're thinking about her and wondering about her, the more it's going to cause your interest to go up. And so instead of finding out in a matter of days whether or not you get a chance with her, it's going to hurt a lot worse if it takes you three weeks or a month to figure that out because over that period of time, your interest is going up and you're thinking about her constantly and you're thinking you got a shot with her and she's just dodging you. She's busy. She can't ever, you can't ever seem to nail her down to a date. She may return all of your texts and all of your calls, but when you try to actually set up a definite date with her, she just is going to be aloof and she won't do it. And so the idea is if you can find out in a matter of a few days after meeting her, then you know to just move on to the next girl as opposed to three or four weeks down the line when your interest has gone up and, and your desire for her has gone up and you've just completely missed the fact that you had no chance with her to start out with. <clears throat> so I've got an email here from a guy and he's emailing me about a girl that he's emailed me previously and he says, I texted her and she replied today saying, hey, I'm going to a birthday tomorrow but I would love to meet another day. Hugs. And he says, I replied, sure, text me and let me know a day you are free. We had no contact in five days, so I did not want to seem needy and ask her out on a Saturday also when she couldn't meet me Friday night. Was this the right decision? How many days after I meet a girl should I, I make contact? Like I talk about in my book, ideally, three to four days, it doesn't really matter. You can ask a girl out right on the spot. I mean, the idea is, what do you feel comfortable with? Because a lot of guys that are coming to my work, they're terrified to talk to women, period. Asking them out for a date or just asking for a phone number is, is hard enough. And so in my book, I go through a lot of really low-risk strategies where you can just talk to a, a woman and ask her questions and get her to reveal whether or not you got a chance with her before you risk going and asking for a date or asking for the phone number. So if you follow the stuff that I talk about in my book, there's a pretty good chance that if you ask her for her phone number or you ask her for a date on the spot, that she's going to say yes. But it really depends on how comfortable you feel. Because if you're just new to this stuff, walking up to a woman and telling her that she's got an unflucking believable body or you think she's one of the most beautiful women you've ever met in your life or you love her personality or you just whatever it is that you like about her, you think she's got the most gorgeous eyes in the world, those are things that scare the shit out of most guys because they're just already afraid of talking to women. But when you get to the point where you've been through this hundreds and thousands of times over the years, you want to, like me, I just quickly get to the point and I'll ask women out and I'll make dates with women. I don't even know their, their name yet or their phone number because I'm, I'm, I want to get quickly get to the point. I let them, I communicate my interest. I communicate something I like about them and I ask them, when are they free to meet up for a drink? Because if they're interested, they'll meet up for a drink. And then after they've said yes and we plan a day, I'm like, what's your name? Okay, great. And I get her number, put it in my phone. She takes my number just in case something comes up. But I make definite plans to meet at a certain place. And since she's got my number and say the date's two or three days out, whatever it happens to be, like on the day you're supposed to get together, if she's really not that interested in seeing you, she'll probably cancel and she'll – and. Her response, if she doesn't mention anything about getting together another time, it means that she's really not that interested in you. And that's important because we always tend to, when we really like somebody, we tend to project our high interest and just assume that they feel the same way because they're talking to us. But what most guys don't understand is women don't like confrontation. They'd rather avoid it. And so they'd rather just keep dodging you until you figure out that they're really not that interested in you and you go away because that's what, that's what most guys usually do. And so that can be very frustrating. You don't want to put, get yourself into a situation where you're dealing with that. So here's the thing. You texted her, let me know a day you were free and she never got back to you. So what does that tell you? Even though she brought up, she said, I'd love to meet another day, question mark, hugs. And then you said, great, text me a day that you're free. And then she never responds to you. So what does that tell you? It means that her interest is really, really low in you. And that's why I talk about it. it's so important to talk to a lot of women, to ask a lot of women for phone numbers, to, to ask a lot of women for dates. Because when you do this with dozens and dozens of women over the course of several weeks or several months as you're practicing and you're improving your skills, 
Some women will make dates with you and you'll go out and you have a great day with, date with them and they'll be really be into you. Some women you'll make dates with and they'll cancel them and totally blow you off. Some women will cancel a date with you but they'll want to reschedule because they just simply had something that they that came up or that they had to reschedule. But their response communicates and tells you how they really feel about you so you don't spend days and days and weeks and weeks before we finally figure out that you really never had a chance with this girl. And you don't, because the longer you're interacting with her, the longer you're holding out hope, the longer you're trying to, to make something happen, the more you're going to fall for this girl, especially if you really liked her to start out with, if she really meets a lot of the values and the things that you like in a woman. The idea is to minimize the emotional kick in the gut that you get when you get rejected so you can just quickly move on to the next girl. So he says, so I did not want to seem needy and ask her out on Saturday also. And I think you did the perfect thing by saying, what days are you free? And obviously she never responded. So that communicates that she's got a real low level of interest. So he says, with a girl that I met before this one, I texted too much and I ruined attraction. With this girl, I wanted to wait longer and see what happened then. She was in the 80% range. See, you think this girl has 80% interest in you, and since you're still new to this stuff, you haven't been through this enough times with enough women, you have to practice these things with enough women to realize that her interest wasn't really in the 80% range, it was probably in the 50s, and since you haven't heard anything from her, I would wait a week, text her again, I actually I would wait two weeks, because this, this girl said she was going to, I mean, she asked about another day, and then you said, great, what day are you available, but she never responded. So it communicates you probably really don't have much of a chance with this girl, and you totally overrated your interest and your chances with her. You projected your high interest onto her and just assumed that she felt the same way. Or maybe you said something, maybe she did have a high interest, and you, you, you messed up by when you were talking to her, or you communicated some kind of weakness, or whatever it was, or who knows, maybe there was an ex-boyfriend that's trying to come in the picture, because the hotter the girl is, the more chances she's going to either have an ex-boyfriend or lots of guys that are uh, that she's trying that are trying to hook up with her. And depending upon how much time she's already spent with them and how much she's emotionally connected with that other person, is going to determine whether or not or how good a chances you're going to have there. Because there's to be times where you'll meet a girl and you'll know that she's 80% interest, and then all of a sudden after a few days or a week she'll totally flake on you, and it's usually because some other dude came back into the picture. And those things are going to happen. That's why you want to you want to find out as soon as you can. Are you in? Or are you out? Without obviously saying that directly. He says, if she makes the effort to text me, I will arrange a date. But if not, should I forget about her and don't contact her again? I would wait like a you know two weeks to contact this girl again because she said she. I mean, you texted her and it's been five days and she hasn't responded, so it was a good chance that she's blowing you off. Do you really want to go out with a girl that's blowing you off, or do you want a girl that will actually keep the date that you make with her? Because if a girl keeps a date, it means she's got high interest and she really wants to see you. You're going to have a lot more fun. It's going to be a lot easier to create rapport when you go out with a woman you have a really good chance with. So th that's, that's how you need to approach it. Let me make sure he's got anything else here. So that's all you do. You're just simply not talking to enough girls and asking enough girls for phone numbers yet. And after you've done this with a few dozen of them, then you'll start to see the patterns and the things that I'm talking about actually show up. So if you've got a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be at the bottom of your screen. Or I'm sorry, it's going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, or your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet. And I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient, and I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle eBook, which I highly recommend, so you can learn the baseline knowledge of what I talk about in my videos and my articles. On my website, underneath the email sign-up box, is going to be a link that will take you to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. And on the right-hand side of that, there will be a button that will enable, because you don't have to have a Kindle device to read my, the Kindle version of my book. All you got to do is download one of their free apps. They've got them for Android devices, iPhones, smartphones, Mac, PC, tablet, iPad. They've got one for everything, pretty much. Download the app for your device, and then it only takes a matter of seconds to do that. 